Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, I want to talk to you about your light body. You have a new light body, which is really why you incarnated here, that you then merge together as the final step with your true love. So let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about your light body and your new chakras and something that may be a little bit new to you is marma points. So if you haven't heard the word chakra or marma, these are ancient Sanskrit words. Okay, because at one time, ancient cultures did teach their children about the light body. We've kind of gotten away from that and we teach other things, but it's time to learn again because... It's the answer for everything for you. It's the answer for your love life. It's the answer for your finances. It's the answer for your health. And not necessarily in that order because your higher self will know the order that it has to go in for you to receive what's next. So Marma points, okay? Um, actually, I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna talk to you about chakras. So chakras, if you think about this word, a lot of people throw this around and you see those diagrams with like seven balls of light over someone's body. But a chakra, the closest interpretation uh, in English might be energy wheel or energy portal. It's usually interpreted as a funnel-like shape that can pull in universal energy but here's the thing about universal energy. It's still love energy. It's a form of love that keeps you fueled, keeps you energized, keeps your heart going, keeps you alive, keeps you, know, you functioning. So a chakra is a vital part of you. A marma, marma points are your shared connections with only one person in the entire universe. The shared connections are, this is how you have similar and same experiences. This is how you experience each other. This is how you can experience and feel things across the miles. This is why if one of those or your chakras are in trouble, you can actually help each other and heal each other wherever you are. That is a question that a lot of people have. Hey, Patricia, if I work with you, does this also help my twin flame? Yes, and in fact, it can help your children, your family, because you're the chosen one in your ancestry. What? The universe chose me? Let's talk about that for a minute. You're the chosen one. Why was I chosen? You actually chose. I did? Yes, before you came here. Oh, it's up to you to get rid of the generational curses, the ancestral patterns. Wait, 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 hold on a minute. Curses? Don't stress about it. It actually shows up as a lot of disease and illness. Like, you ever heard of diabetes? Oh my goodness, yes? Do you ever want to have that? No. So, how would we heal using your marma points? How would she heal using her marma points so that she gets the right fuel and the sweetness of her life is not sucked out of her giving her some kind of diabetes. That's sort of a metaphysical reason for it. Now, there's a lot of complications, and this is just one example. It can include things like fibromyalgia. It can include things like COPD, congestive heart failure, all the issues having to do with grief that are so deep that people don't even realize they're showing up in this life. They just go to the doctor and the doctors help, they're trained to look for that thing. I am trained through 15 years of doing this to look for the root cause and remove it and get the marma points connected. It works when people do the work. It works when they do my modality and it is very efficient and expedient and it's relevant, okay? This is important. Okay, so your marma points, your shared connections, you must actively reconnect them. There's three areas you're reconnecting. Within, that means to major vital organs and other connection points within. 
That includes your heart, your endocrine organs, your reproductive organs. You're not wired anymore to just bond with anyone, hence part of this loneliness epidemic. But you can rise above and get to that new level where you no longer feel lonely and you feel assured that you are intended to meet, be with, and merge with your true love. And if you've had too much abuse or bad relationships, you'll meet a divine counterpart. You'll meet a soulmate who's so good that sometimes you go, hey, wait a minute, can I uh, can I do this with them? Maybe. And we'll talk about that in another video. So stay tuned to my videos. But what you cannot do is merge your marma points with them. You can clear your chakras, you can clear things, and you can have, you know, a nice balance of your life. You can have a happy life until your soul really wants to get bored of that person, you'll move on. But let's get back to this, actively reconnecting. This is why we do a twin flame reconnection. This is why in my webinars and in my session of twin flame reconnection, we are reconnecting major parts of you and we make it easy. Now, this doesn't happen. I wish I could do this by waving my magic wand. It has to happen with your active participation. That makes all the difference because when you are willing to match your higher will and kind of like go of your lower will and, and be afraid and nervous and like, oh, I'm going to do it wrong. Find out the right way, the efficient way to do it through my classes, my webinars, my tutorials, my books, and my sessions especially. Three areas to reconnect within, outside, because those marma points, they're offset the body and they are supporting you. For example, at your liver, that's one of them. In order to get that connection, what has to happen? If you are ridding yourself of what? Well, let's get them to talk about it. You must get rid of not just your ancestral curses. You must get rid of old emotions, things like resentments. What? I don't have resentments. Well, maybe your other half does, but you're going to feel it because you're the one geared up to do some of this. You will help. They will help with the other 50%. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Just follow along here. Okay, so yes, there's days I feel a little bit resentful, but I feel very jealous. That's another low emotion that you will clear out. Jealousy, envy, angers, pettiness, disapproval, disappointment. Oh my God, does this include anxiety and depression? Yes, sometimes even crippling depression. This is not fun, but it is fun to lighten up and rise up and get rid of it. We do that by reconnecting you. And yes, things that have to like peel off the layers and get it out and get all the crap off between the layers, you're going to do it and you're going to do it easily. The next thing to talk to you about are your chakras. Okay, in order to do this, it first starts with some kind of awakening or activation. A lot of people look at a diagram and they're like, what's a chakra? A chakra is more than seven. There's not just seven. There's about 20 of them. Some of them are not depicted in those diagrams. They've sometimes been left off and then it just piles on like what this chakra does. That's your personal will. Let me tell you something. I once did a diagram where all of the ingoing and outgoing energies of the chakras includes things like swearing at people, like that outputting stuff. You'll get the karmic boomerang upside your head if you do that kind of stuff and you're trying to like put stuff on other people. It, it can't. Once you start having an activation, what happens is the need for change becomes a necessity and it makes the critical difference. It makes the difference in how you are, how you feel. If you're trying to like pick a fight, you'll find that the rest of the universe starts picking a fight with you. So your chakras, there are 20 of them. They will open. This is for you as an individual side of your unified selves. 
Okay, so what is your unified self? This is frequently called union, when you're in union, okay? If you're together with someone, you might think of it as in union, but are you merging your marma points? Do you know what that feels like? Do you know what the next steps are? Do you know how to balance your growth along with theirs? And I'll say this, if you're having a codependent or enabling relationship, if you love someone who is sick or an addict or something like that, it begins to show up because your growth will outpace them. You'll feel like you're doing stuff and they're not doing a thing and maybe they cannot. Um, that's not all on your shoulders. They have to lift a finger too. So how to do this? Join my webinar, join us. Join us for the webinar. Look at the link below. Get my tutorials. We offer one-on-one -on -one sessions. These are energy and they are also the integration of your brand new template. This is a template of how to relate to things from a 5D level. Books, readings, and coaching. Do you need some coaching? Do you Would you like to check in and see where you're at? Now, in my Twin Flame Spirit Chat, there's a lot of things that can be done in that. It is a talk session. If you want to find out where you're at, if you're on track, what your next steps are, if you want to um, find out the best ways of how to go through a breakup, how to clear away someone's false energy from you, okay? And we can do it depending on how deep you need some of this healing, but it is expedient. These things, the marma points, these are an eighth dimensional connection. This is your eighth, and this is why you are leaving and you have to get this on the inside so that you're literally, you know, supported. You're almost suspended from a higher level. Do you have questions? Reach out to me and check out my website at twinflamereconnection.com. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.